चमीमा प्रसुप्ता संजीवयत्य किल शक्ति सरस्वधा न अन्यांसहस्रचरणश्रवणत्वगादीन प्राणा भगवते पुषा तोभ्यं सं गुरु हि स्वयं सत्य प्रज्ञा भक्ति विनीत दीप्ति व्रता नित्यम तम गुरु प्रणमाम्यहम सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरास्त्रे वैद्य शकुनकनीत पुराणी मंत्रे वस्तुति नटन हास्चुरा कथम राजीति मई कोहम पशुपते पशु मर्वज्ञ प्रथित कृपया पालय विभो घटो मृत्पिंडोक्षणुरभिजूमो निरचल पटो आतंकुर्वाहरसि किं घोरशमन वृथा कंठक्षोभम वहसी सरता तक्रवच सा पदाभोज शंभो भज परम सौख्यम व्रज सुधी मनस्ते बालाब्जे निवसतु वजस्त्र फणित कर्णन विधौ तव ध्यान बुद्धि नयन युगण मूर्ति विभवे परग्रंथा कैर्वा परम शिव जाने यथा बुद्धिशुक्त रजतमी काचाश्मि मणि जले पैष्टे क्षीर मृगतृष्णा सुतलिल तथाभ्रांतियावदन्यम महादेवेशपते गभीरे कासारे विशति विजने घोरिपिने विशाले शैले चमति कुसुम जडमती समर्पेत सदसीज मनाथवते सुखेनावस्था तो जनह न जाति किमो स्टॉप हियर वर्स नाइन इन द प्रीवियस क्लास सुखेनावस्था तो जनह न जाति किमो सो बेसिकली a verse which sort of conveys the grief that is experienced by bhagavat pada that this person has not learned how to live happy sukhena avasthatu janaha ih na janati kim aho aho kim vachmi so this is what he said now mm-hmm. in the previous class we also said this word kasara is an interesting thing to some of you who might not have attended the previous class so kasara means basically a huge lick okay kasara the word ka here stands for water that's what i was telling the kasya jalasya asara ha a samantat saranam yasmin bhavati saha kasara ha so that is how we understand the formation of the word kasara now we move on to the next verse 10th naratvam devatvam 
So it can be either in this world or it can be in some other world. So Naratvam Devatvam Nagapana Mrigatvam Mashakata Pashutvam Kitattvam Bhavatu Vihagatvadi Jananam. So Jananam is birth. So the birth can be in any of the forms. We don't know. We have absolutely no choice over the birth. When do we get born? In what form do we get born? We have absolutely no clue whatsoever. Here, Bhagavad Pada says, irrespective of the form that has been given to me, the form is given to you as per scripture is due to your own karma. So here he is listing a variety of various forms in which we see the living beings. Vihaga refers to birth. Vihagatvadi he is saying, etc. Starts with Narattvam. Devatvam, then Nagavana Mrigatvam Mashakata. Mrigatvam is being an animal, some form. <coughs> Mrigatvam, it can be Nage Vaneva. Nagavana Mrigatvam. So, Vana is a dense forest, which generally is in a plain region, planar region. So, it can be in the top of hills also. In fact, we have a very nice person, no? what is that? Um, that uh, in uh, Mekaduta, he is describing that animal, mm. that animal which fights with the cloud. Mm. Right? Ye Sambram Putpatana Rapataha Swanga Banga Yatasmin Atvanam Sapadi Shalava Langhair Bhavantam. 
so there are a few animals which move i mean i i sometimes really wonder so they have this natural ability to move so they will be it can be very very steep extremely steep but then these cows will ca casually walk mm -hmm. there see some animals are really gifted so it extremely difficult for us to imagine mm -hmm. how they have the balance and so on so that mirga is of a different variety so if you take our own cow there they will slip and fall down okay nagavana mrigatvam some animals which are gifted there i mean he is talking of a eight legged animal i don't know in kalidasa thing so sharabha in the commentary he samram hot ಮೃಗಾಹ <laughs> ಪಶುತ್ವಂಕೀತತ್ವಂಭವತುಜನನಿಮಲ್ some of them have this opportunity to give lift to bhagavan right so vihaga nagadhiraja hayaraja nagadhiraja think it is suprabhata this is one verse so these are all animals which are able to provide platform for bhagavan to travel whatever be the form okay so which i have no choice but one thing i want is what he is saying sada tvatpada tyasmarana paramanandala hari tvatpada tyasmarana paramanandala hari vihara asaktam chet so in some of the puranas we have the story where because of the purvajanma sukrata that this person purvajanma samskara rada even in this janma irrespective of the form he can think of doing some service to ishvara tvatpada smarana paramananda lahari vihara saktam chet is a long compound tvatpadabhya smarana paramananda lahari so tvatpadabhya smaranam is something which will lead to paramananda the waves of joy okay tvatpadabhya smarana paramananda lahari vihara saktam chet vihara saktam means there is a proclivity to engage in that activity ಹೃದಯಪುಷಾ in fact there are many passages even in tamil literature where they say so let me be born irrespective of the form let me have the opportunity to serve you in some form or other form so this is how they pray even the great bhaktas so they pray that doesn't matter what the form is so let me be associated with you in some form is what they pray to ishvara so assume that even some honey is being offered okay so this 
Pashutvam, Kitaktvam, Vihagatvavadi, there you can put Madhumakshika also. So that can engage in producing some honey which will go into the head of Parameshwara. So whatever be the form, so even if it is a grass, let me be born as a grass, which will be eaten by a cow which will give milk to the cow. Or bhakta. Okay. So that is the idea which is being conveyed here. Because I have no choice, but the only thing that I can pray is to be devoted to you, irrespective of the form that is given to me. Okay? So that is the prayer. Narasvam Devatvam. Ah, repeat. Narasvam Devatvam Nagavana Mrigatvam Shakata Pasutvam Kitatvam. Even if it is a kita. That Kita can be so engaging itself in the temple where some flowers are growing. And thereby, Satpada Asaktam may not be directly but indirectly. Okay. So that is the idea here. Next verse. Vaturvage Heva Vaturvage Heva Vaturvage Heva Yetirapi Jativa Taditaraha Yetirapi Jativa Taditaraha Yetirapi Jativa Taditaraha Narova Yakaschit Narova Yakaschit Narova Yakaschit Bhavatu Bhavakim Tena Bhavati Bhavatu Bhavakim Tena Bhavati Bhavatu Bhavakim Tena Bhavati Idiyam Hrut Padmam Idiyam Hrut Padmam Idiyam Hrut Padmam Bhavadadhi Yedi Bhavadhinam Pashupate Yedi Bhavadhinam Pashupate Yedi Bhavadhinam Pashupate Tadi Astvam Shambho Tadi Astvam Shambho Tadi Astvam Shambho Bhavasi Bhavabharan Chavahasi Bhavasi bhava bharan chavahasi Bhavasi bhava bharan chavahasi This is a very beautiful verse. There are a few interesting things which have to be learnt both from the viewpoint of grammar as well as the content of this verse. So here in this verse he lists the various Ashramas. In the previous verse, so he was saying, irrespective of the form that is given to me, so all are Chetanas that have been listed. Okay. Pashuttam, Kitattam, Vihara, Saktan, Chet. That is what he says. Vihara, you know what is Vihara? Have you heard? Mm -hmm. huh? Brahmanam. Mm -hmm. Viharanam. <laughs> so, if just somebody goes for walking, which many people do, so it is all called Viharanam, right? There is another Vihara. What is it? Ah, Buddha Vihara, they will say. Mm. What is it? So, their temple is also called. <laughs> this uh, temple of a Buddhist is also called, also called as Vihara, right? Mm. I have heard Buddha Vihara. Mm. So, there. In fact, I remember somebody, somebody, so he is a staunch Advaitin. 
some scholar, he will make some witty comments. So once he was saying, we only do Viharanam there. That is why it is called Vihara. <laughs> Understand? So that philosophy, he, so it is not acceptable. Buddha's, therefore he is saying, in Vihara they only do Vihara. It is called Vihara because it's a useless wandering. That is what I mean he meant. Anyway. So, <laughs> so Paramananda Lahari Vihara Sarpan says, that is how he brings it. Now here he lists, even if you are given this human form. So then, Vaturva Gehiva. So these refer to the different stages of life, which we call as Ashrama. So Vatuhu is Brahmachari. Brahmachari means Brahmani Karati, means those who are engaging themselves in studies. That is what is Brahmachari. Brahmani Karati is Brahmachari. This is one Brahma means Vedadhyayana. Veda is referred to as Brahma. So, Vaturva Gehiva Yetirapi Yetihi is a renunciate. Jativa Taditaraha Jati means so the one who possesses Jata. Right? Saha Jati. So Jati Yati. So Jati Yati. So Yati is someone who has renounced things. He has taken sannyasa. So Jati, he can be even as Grihastha, Vana Prastha, who does not do. So that is also a possibility. So in those days, People, some people I have seen, they will be jata, they will have jata. Some of them may be sannyasi, some of them may be non-sannyasi also. So they will have jata. See this uh, depiction of various sages which I have seen, they will put some jata mm -hmm. kind of thing. So they need not necessarily be sannyasi. Mm -hmm. So anyway he is saying, so these are different ashramas. Vaturva Gehiva Yetirapi Jativa Tadita Raha or any other profession for that matter. Narohova Yakaschit Bhavatu Bhavakim Tena Bhavati Yakaschit Naraha Bhavatu. Understand? Yakaschit Naraha Bhavatu. So irrespective of, see there are some people who do not have any of these um, ashramas understood. They may be just wanderers. Unless you get into the studies, you don't know that there are different kinds of ashramas and things. Otherwise, I mean they are just living like that. Okay. bhavatu <laughs> Bhavakim tena bhavati. See the prasa here. See, bhava bhava bhava. See, bhavatu bhavakim tena bhavati. Call yamaka. Narohova yakaschit bhavatu. Now, in the third and the fourth quarter, he says, Yediyam hutpadmam. Yedi bhavad adhinam pashupate tadihi asvam shambho bhavasi bhavabharancha bahasi Yediyam So how do we understand this formation of the word? Yediyam prith, yediyam tadiyam Yediyam means Yedi Iyam? No. <laughs> Yedi Iyam is not this. This is a Pratyaya okay, which has taken this form added to Yet. I give you, have you heard uh, the word Aryabhatiya? How is it composed? 
that is related to Aryabhata. Aryabhata Sambandhi. Aryabhatiya. That Sambandha is in the form of Grantha Kartru. Grantha Kartru Tvena Sambandha. Understand? So, in order to indicate that, sometimes we use this suffix. So, this is equivalent to an. This an pratyaya. So, tasyedam. So, there are various senses in which this an pratyaya will be added. So, this is an apavada for the an pratyaya for certain shabdas. Suppose you have the word gargiya. So, Garga Sammandhi, Garga Gotra, the one who is related to that. Okay? So, that is how we have the word Gargiya. So, similarly, we have this word Yediya. So, there the Sutra is, the Sutra is Vridhacha. That is the Sutra. Vridhacha. Ah, repeat. Vridhacha. Vridhacha. So, Vridhacha. This is 42114. This Vridha Chaha. This Chaha here refers to the suffix that has been added. So this Chaha will take the form of Ia later. Okay. So Vridha Chaha. Now this Sutra as such simply means once you have a <laughs> Vridha then you can put a suffix. But what is this Vridha you have to understand. Vridha normally means a old man, right? But here, this Vridha is to be understood. So, the word which has okay, Vridhi at the beginning of it is what is called Vridha. <laughs> See, I'll tell you that sutra also. And it's good to learn. Vridhiryasya chamadis. Vridhiryasya <laughs> Vridhi Radhai Chi. We have the Sutra, right? So, Aat A Adai Chi. <laughs> so, this Vridhi Samnya is being given to a few letters. And those letters, if they are at the beginning of the word, Acham Adihi means, Ach refers to Swara, vowels. So, among the vowels <coughs> in the word, if we find this vowel occurring as the first vowel, see, Adihi means Prathamaha Swaraha, Swareshu Madhye, Shabde Pade Vidyamana Swareshu Madhye, Yedi Adima Swaraha Vridhi Syat, Tarihi, Tasya Padasya, Vridha Samya Bhavati. It is called Vridha, Vridha Samya. That is what the sutra means. Vridhiryasya chama this tad vridham. Repeat. Vridhiryasya chama this tad vridham. Vridhiryasya chama this tad vridham. But now, having defined this vridha samya, vridha cha. The samya to be used later. Vridha cha. Cha iti pratyaha bhavati. Tasya anyaha adeshaha iya iti bhavati. Tada arya bhata cha arya bhatiya. Garga cha gargiya. This is how it will become. Now, one can ask this question. This vridhi, vridhi, a is not there. In which word? Yediya. Right? Yedu cha, suppose you have to say, in order to accommodate that, there is a next sutra which follows. Tyada di nicha. Tyada di nicha. 
means something beginning with tyat. Then they also acquire Vridha Samya. It is just the succeeding sutra. Vridhir Yasya Chamadihi Tadvridham Tyadadi Nicha Vridha Samyam Syat. This is how we have to understand. Tyadadi refers to a set of pronouns. Sarvanama, we call it. There is a sutra, Sarvadini. Ah. Sarvadini Sarvanamadi. They say. Sarvadini, it actually begins with Sarva, and there are a lot of uh, things listed in that group. Now you leave several of them, and then at some point, Tyat comes. So commencing with Tyat, it is a subset of. So we understand? Okay, it is a subset of. Sarvanama. Okay. So that is what he, that is why he has used this word Tyadadi. But most of them will be anyway Sarvanama only in this list. In this list we find twelve of them listed, in fact. Tyat, Tat, Yat, Yetat, Idam, Adas, Yeka, Dvi, Yushmat, Asmat, Bhavat, Kim. So these are the twelve things which are listed. Tyadadi. Now the reason for saying is this Yadiyam Tadiyam, this Yat Tyat. They fall under the group Tyatu. Okay, Tyadadi rather. Tyadadi set. Now, in the Tyadadi set, since Vridha Samya has been given, Chapratya will come. And thereby you get the form Yadiya Tadiya. Okay, you should not split as Yadiya, Yadiyam. That is also a possibility. No? <laughs> so, Yadiyam. So, that will not work. Yadiyam means yadiyam so this, this the one which belongs to whom tadiyam means his okay belonging to him okay yadiyam tadiyam now what does this verse say yadiyam hrutpadmam hrutpadmam means the lotus in the form of heart okay the heart lotus yadiyam hrutpadmam the fellow whose heart in the form of lotus bhavadadhinam pashupate means if he has surrendered himself to you okay he has left the heart with you yadiyam hrutpadmam rather you can even understand from the phrase bhavadadhinam means he has made it to serve you okay adhinam means under your control so which means he has submitted and made a total surrender unto you recognizing the helplessness so it is up to you to control my heart that is what it essentially means so you leave it to ishara so it is only through your blessing it can work. Okay. So this kind of an attitude, if some fellow has developed, so that vyakti is referred to by the word yadiyam. Yadiyam hrutpadmam. Now we have the word yadi. <laughs> this is a little tricky usage. And this is a very special usage. That's why I said this verse is something which is important. For even those who have studied Sanskrit for a long time. In fact, only today I clearly understood the usage of this by figuring out that it occurs even in the Vedas, this particular usage, rarely used. Yedi bhavadadhinam pashupate tadiyastum shambho bhavasi bhavabharancha bahasi. So let us quickly understand what the verse then is. The one who has completely left his heart under your control. Okay. Tadiyastum shambho bhavasi. Means, tvam tadiyaha bhavasi. Tadiyaha bhavasi means, you come and take care of 
all the needs that he has. So since he has submitted, it is our duty, right? We suppose somebody has left something in your care. Now it is our duty now. It is like that. So this fellow has submitted to Ishra. So it is his duty to control the heart. Okay, to look after. <laughs> and this is a big burden. The burden has been transferred to him. Okay. So you have relieved yourself of the burden. So that is the idea. Tadiyastum Shambho. And in fact, explicitly, Bhagavad Pada says, Bhavabharanchavahasi. You have taken the responsibility of taking care of all his needs and you have taken the burden from him. Bhavasi bhavabharancha bhavasi. Bhavabhara is the bhara, the burden that he experiences because of samsara. So you actually take care of the burden. Tadiyastum bhavasi. Now, yadiyam hrutpadnam bhavadadhinam tadiyahatum. Finished. Why does the word yadi come? Yadi, yadi means if clause, right? So if, where does this if come? That doesn't seem to be fitting here, right? This was what was bothering me. See, so the one who has surrendered completely to yourself, so this entity has become the responsibility of you to take care and you are uh, going to take care of all the burden and relieving him of the burden. Sentence is over. Yadi means if is coming. This if seems to be hanging unconnected. So then I was searching for to understand this. So there are certain usages which we find instead of understanding this word yadi in the if sense they have employed it in the affirmative sense nishchayarthe yadi shabdaha okay. so nishchayarthe yadi shabdaha I will give you uh, a mantra from Atharva Veda this occurs in a slightly modified form in Rig Veda. Ye Agni Dagdha, Ye Anagni Dagdha, Madhye Divas Swadhaya, Swadha, Swadhaya Amadayam Te, Tvamtan Vetha Yedite Jatave, Yedite Jatave Daha. I don't have the swara here. Tvamtan vetha yedite yedite jata vedaha Svathaya yajyam svadhi pinjushantam This is how it is there. Now you see Ye agni dagdhaha ye anagni dagdhaha This is something which the people who have performed some rituals they may know. Agni Dagdhaha, Anagni Dagdhaha means it refers to the samskara that has been done, okay, using Agni. Agnina Dagdhaha, Agni Dagdhaha. So Anagni Dagdhaha means burnt by unfairness. <laughs> See, Na Agnina Dagdhaha, Anagni Dagdhaha. Understand? Some fellow who has been buried, let us say, or left, something has happened. So he says, ye agni dagdhaha, ye anagni dagdhaha. This is a mantra which is used uh, so when you propitiate the forefathers. So through fire. Swadhaya madayante. Swadhaya madhaya. Swadhaya means, this swadha is a word which is used. Swaha is used for ahuti, for devatas. Swadha is used for pitris. Okay. Swadhaya madayante means Pitrubhya Swadhastu. This is a mantra prayoga. So Swaha means, so if it is Devata, you use the word Swaha. If it is Pitru, you use the word Swadha. Swadhaya madayante means by the offering that is being made, they are pleased. Now, the Agni, here he said, 
निश्चयार्थ so that is something which we have to keep in mind while understanding this verse where bhagavat pada has used yadi okay nischayena means definitely so those who have submitted so this definitely can be taken to you will take care definitely those who have completely surrendered in both senses you can take the word yeti connected with both the classes so now in fact there is another instance uh, i don't i could not quickly get that verse there is a verse even in shankar vijaya uh, the story goes like this this uh, mandala mishra so he uses this phrase शपथाइंड commenting this mantra okay the commentator has cited this yadi veda of pramanam syuhu idi nischaye idi shabdah payukta so this yadi is equivalent to another phrase chet ramaha yadi agachati is same as ramaha agachati chet right so now i will give you another beautiful verse from our sanskrit literature where chet is used in the sense of affirmation just like this yadi okay so the verse is something which is good to know okay you repeat this is in champu uchayer gatir jagati siddhyati कृतकेतरैश्चे महीसुरैश्चे वेरी नाइस वर्स which has a very powerful message at the beginning he says uchayir gatihi jagati siddhyati dharmataschet 
ಜಗತಿ ಉಚ್ಚೈರ್ಗತಿ ಧರ್ಮತಃ ಸಿದ್ಧತಿ ನೋಡೋಣ ಉಚ್ಚೈರ್ಗತಿ ಮೀನ್ ಯು ರೀಚ್ ಅ ಹೈ ಸ್ಟೇಟಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಬಿ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಯು ಬಿ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮಹಾತ್ಮ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಬೈ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೇತ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಫ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ನಿಶ್ಚಯಾರ್ಥ ಜಗತಿ ಉಚ್ಚೈರ್ಗತಿ ಧರ್ಮತ ಏವ ಸಿದ್ಧತಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ಪೋಯಟಿಂಗ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಚೇತ್ ಓಕೆ ಉಚ್ಚೈರ್ಗತಿ ಜಗತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧತಿ ಧರ್ಮತಶ್ಚೇತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೌ ಡಿ ನೋ ಧರ್ಮ ತಸ್ಯ ಪ್ರಮಾಚ ವಚನೈ ಕೃತಕೇತರೈಶ್ಚೇತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಧರ್ಮ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಹೌ ಡಿ ನೋ ಕೃತಕೇತರೈ ವಚನೈ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಕೃತಕ ಇತರ ಹ ಕೃತಕ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಕೃತಕೇತರ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಚ್ ಹಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೀನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಸೊ ತಾದೃಶ ವಚನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೇದ ವಚನ ಪ್ರಮಾಚ ಸೊ ಯುವರ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಧರ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇದ ಓಕೆ ಫಾರ್ ನೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಸೊ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಯೂಸ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಕ್ಷ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನುಮಾನ ಬಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಸ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ದಟ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಂಗ್ ತಸ್ಯ ಪ್ರಮಾಚ ವಚನೈ ಕೃತಕೇತರೈಶ್ಚೇತ್ so here chet there is no question of having any doubt <laughs> okay tesham prakashana dasha cha mahi suraischet and how to understand this veda prakashana dasha means they are made available for us to digest and understand mahi suraihi mahi sura means brahmana okay. or not every phala every fellow who is a jati brahman but who have studied this who have put into practice mahi suraishe mahi suraha in fact he was saying you know naratvam devatvam naratvam is normal human being so he becomes a divine being kada by following this okay that is why he is called mahi sura sura means deva mahi sura means those devas who are moving here so that is the kind of respect that we have ಕಂಚಿ ಪರಮಾಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಟ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದೇವಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ತೇಷಾಂ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನ ದಶಾಚ ಮಹೀ ಸುರೈಶ್ಚೇತ್ ತಾನಂತರೇಣ ನಿಪತೇತ್ ಕೋನು ಮತ್ ಪ್ರಣಾಮ ದ ಪೋಯಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಗ್ರಂಥ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ to who else will go my venerations tanantarena means those people who have dedicated themselves for understanding the meaning of the scriptures and who have dedicated themselves for its prachara leaving them who do i offer my venerations to see tanantarena nipate kwanumat prana a very beautiful see konu mat pranamaha tanantarena nipatit now the reason for saying this is here chet chet so it looks as if it is a conditional clause it is not a conditional clause it is an affirmative statement so similarly in this verse we have this phrase yadi yadiyam hrutpadmam yadi bhavadadhinam ನಿಶ್ಚಯನ ಯದೀಯಂ ಹೃತ್ಪದ್ಮಂ ಭವದಧೀನಂ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ನಿಶ್ಚಯನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಫೈತ್ ಓಕೆ ಯದೀಯಂ ಹೃತ್ಪದ್ಮಂ ಯದಿ ಭವದಧೀನಂ ಪಶುಪತೆ ತದೀಯಸ್ತಂ ಶಂಭೋ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಹಿ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞಾ ಸಾರಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ರತಿಜ್ಞಾ ರೈಟ್ ಮಾಮೇಕಂ ಶರಣ ವ್ರಜ ಅಹಂ ಸರ್ವಪಾಪೇಭ್ಯೋ ಮೋಕ್ಷಯಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಮಾಚು ಸರ್ವಧರ್ಮನ್ ಪರಿತ್ಯಜ್ಯ ಮಾಮೇಕಂ ಶರಣ ವ್ರಜ ಶರಣ ವ್ರಜ ಇಸ್ ಎಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಲಿ ಸರಂಡರಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ತದೀಹಿ ಅಸ್ತ್ವಂ ಶಂಭೋ ಭವಸಿ ಭವಭಾರಂಚ ವಹಸಿ ಹಾ ಸೀ 
ಪಟುರ್ವಾಗೇಹೀವಾಯುತಿರಿ ಘಟೀವಾಶ್ಚಿತ್ತು ಬಹಿರಪಿವನೇವಾದೃಶಿಖರೆ ಬಹಿರಪಿ ವನೇವಾದೃಶಿಖರೆ ಬಹಿರಪಿ ವನೇವಾದೃಶಿಖರೆ ಜಲೇವಾವನ್ಹೌವಾ 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 ವಸತು ವಸತಿ ಹೇ ವಸತು ವಸತಿ ಹೇ ವಸತು ವಸತಿ ಹೇ ಶಂಭೋತವಪದೆ ಶಂಭೋತವಪದೇಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಸಚ ಪರಮಯೋಗಿ ಸಚ ಸುಖಿ ದೀಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಕನ್ಸೆಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ವರ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ರೆಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ವರೈಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಶ್ರಮಾಸ್ so it doesn't matter whether this ashrama or that ashrama you should have understood that it is not possible for you to completely govern your life so if this understanding matures we want things to happen that it doesn't happen therefore you surrender to ishwara so your your own mind it is completely not under your control right hrudayam manaha bhotasi now here he is saying guhayam geheva bahirapi mane vadrihi kare so here he refers to the environment so many people keep complaining about the environment <laughs> right so if this were conducive i would have done nothing both of the things are here is what can be done so whatever be the environment you may go and pollute the other environment also so we have to clean here first so he says doesn't matter where you are see guhayam geheva see guha is a natural shelter which has been provided by nature okay. a shelter which is provided by rock we say guha right so geha is something which you have artificially created some shelter for you. guhayam geheva some people create various gehas <laughs> in various places variety of gehas they are not happy with one geha See? and i heard that there is a person who has been creating his geha for the past 10 years okay so these are all there i'm not joking the reality they want to create a huge palace guhayam geheva in fact i remember see there is a, i i don't know whether there is a, is a novel or some short story so in english how much land does a man need right 
So how much land does a man need? Six by two, that's all. Yajira bivane va guhayam gehe va bahira bivane va drishikare. So this, this two, guhayam gehe, bahira pi means no shelter. So some people who just keep wandering. There are so many people even today. So they just sleep. Some people out of compulsion they sleep okay, in open space. Some people out of choice they keep sleep in open space. Bahirati Vaneva Adri Shikare. See, see, there are many as rickshaw fellows you have seen. I have seen them sleeping in rickshaw. It's hardly two feet. <laughs> see, and that too in hot sun they need to sleep. So these are all certain things out of compulsion. They learn how to do. Bahira Bivane Vadrishikare Adrishikare Adrishikare refers to on the cliff of a mountain, on the top of a mountain. Jaleva va vanhau va Jalevanhe vanhau. We should be taking it as Literary sense also I can take, metaphorical sense also you can take. See, there are so many people who just want to be in water, you know. It can be a small boat, it can be a huge ship, it can be for months they are in water, essentially. You know. <laughs> Jale, one how, see one now I came to know, so recently. So they say sauna abhyamana, you go to the room, okay. And uh, there will be hot gas which will be blown. Okay, it is just like one knee. Okay, there will be a few fire. So you want to sweat. So that is what I was told. And in fact, I experimented also recently when I went somewhere. They said, why don't you go? Said, what is that place? I don't remember. They said that this is a famous place, something. Anyway, I just learned what to do and then I went there. <laughs> so I experimented once. So Jaleva, Vannava, doesn't matter where you are. Okay, he is saying. So this is one, this is one way of understanding. So this is literally you put you, yourself into water or fire. The other way is metaphorically. So there are some people who live in really cold climate. There are some people who live in Rajasthan, okay? so, or maybe you can take uh, Chennai. Okay, nothing will be below 32 degrees. <laughs> okay, anyway. So Jaleva Vanhau Va Vasatu Vasatehe Kimvala Phalam Sada Yassi Vanta Karana Vishambho Tava Pade Yassya Anta Karana Doesn't matter where you are. If the mind is something which is left to you. Sada yassi vanta karanam api shambho tavapade sthitam chet Sthitam means firmly fixed. Sthitam chet yogo sau Sacha parama yogi, sacha sukhi This is a very powerful statement that Adi Shankara is making. So we will learn more about this in the next class but uh, what i wanted to say here was sthitam ched yogo sau see if you are able to pull that see one can ask this question how can i do this how can i do this why can't you do this see why can't you do this this is simply possible i'm telling you long back maybe 45 years ago <laughs> 40 years ago, something like that. So I went uh, to meet one elderly person. He was a grihastha, but uh, almost like a sannyasi. So just a very vairagi person. So my father took. So I went to some Gita competition. On the way, uh, I got some prize. My father said he was on the way. So we were just walking. Why don't we go on? take his blessings, my father said. So I went there and uh, uh, that particular chapter, I don't remember now, Ma Manusmara Yudhya it was there. So he asked me to chant some verses. 
So I chanted that particular uh, whatever I learned. So he said, Mamanusmara Yudhya Chaha. He was seen. So that uh, I was a small boy, school boy. So he was asking, what does this mean? So I said, you think of me and then you fight. <laughs> Mamanusmara Yudhya Chaha. This is what it says, right? So then he was saying, then I did not understand. That was a context, right? The guardian just says, think of each other and then you fight. This is what I was saying. Then that gentleman was saying, so this is there throughout the life. Yudhya Chaha. So you should understand that everything is basically Yudha. There is a lot of Yudha which is happening in your own mind, right? Should I do this? Should I do this? Right? There is a lot of conflict which goes on. So there he said, so this is a general Upadesha that Krishna gives. So all instances, see, whether you go there, so it is Krishna, your desire. Say Parameshwara, it is your desire that I am going there, it is your. So it just, when you engage, you think of him. When you get the fruit, you think of him. So when you take food, you think of him. This is given by you, right? So this is how one can think of Sadayasi Vantahkaranam means at the beginning of every activity. When you get the fruit, then also it is your own prasada. You can take this bhavana. So then Sitam Chet Yogo and he should be declared as Paramayogi. So Paramayogi, what do I achieve? Paramasukhi. Then you will be completely happy. Right? So this is something which we need to learn. So we will stop here and we will continue a little more on this in the next class. Om Sarve Nasantu Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makaschid Dukha Bhavet Om